Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope. My name is Pastor Justin Domino, and today I want to talk about when it feels good to be angry. Something I think a lot of us can relate to, but it says in John chapter 13, 34, Jesus says, a new command that I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. There is such a great emphasis on the life and ministry of Jesus, on the idea and the action of love. It is so crucial. Because let's be honest, it's, it's really easy not only to be angry, but it feels good a lot of the times. I remember back in, I think it was eighth grade, when my, well, I wouldn't say my friend, <laughs> one of my classmates, Tim, made a really rude comment to me about myself and about the friends that I was hanging out with. And it stuck with me. And I remember going to every single person that like came to me that day and I told everybody about it. And it felt so good to rant about Tim and to tell everybody about how dumb Tim was or that comment that he made. It felt good to like harness that anger and to build off of it. But this is the problem with sin. When we get angry, it oftentimes it feels good to be angry, which creates more anger. It creates gossip. We hurt people. But here's the call of Jesus. Jesus has actually called us to live differently. Now, there are times when anger is justified. Even Jesus got angry sometimes. There is a thing called non-sinful anger. But let's be honest, we use that as an excuse sometimes. But here's the reality of Jesus. He has called us to live a different life. He has called us to be a holy people. What it means to be holy, by definition, is to be set apart. It means to be different. And so I don't want us to give in so easily to being anger and to fuel ourselves based on anger. I do that a lot. But what Jesus is calling us to be is actually a people who live differently. Even the people we should be angry at, Jesus calls us to love those people. I don't know what that's gonna look like for you, but here's the idea, here's the command. Jesus has called us to love. I wanna repeat that for you. Jesus has called you to love. That is our daily hope for today, that we can actually love and bless even our enemies. Let me pray for you. God, we love you. And we are so taken back by some of the things that you've commanded us to do. God, we don't want to do them just because they are commandments, but Lord, we want our hearts to be transformed. And so if there's somebody today that we are angry with, if there's somebody today that we are frustrated with, that we would love to yell at or to rant about, maybe even gossip, God, I pray that we are able to hold our tongues and that we can actually have love for those people. It's crazy to even think about it. It seems impossible. But Lord, when you fill us with your Holy Spirit, we're able to do impossible things. So God, help us today to love even our enemies, because that's the life that you lived. In your name I pray. Amen. Well, have a great day, New Hope. God bless.